play once, just play the chords. Just play the chords. So we're in the key of D minor, it's the same as the F scale, it's the relative minor. So the notes we just learned are the same notes in this song. I'll sing, you play the chords. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm just a
try this. Put on G7, a G7 chord. Now take away the ring finger. Okay, so just the two fingers now. See if you can play the whole melody without moving the fingers. So, you know, this only works if you have the high fourth string. Okay, see if you can do it with, without moving at all. One, two, here we go. kind of sound. That's what we want to get, you know, melody and chords together. In order to do that, we have to use um, a very important technique uh, that I call a partial roll. And the partial roll is this. You have the chord. Here's a D minor, for example. D minor. Now, sometimes, sometimes we roll all four strings. Right? Let's try that. One, two, D minor chord, ready, go. I hear this note as the melody because that's the highest sounding note. This one, but now let's just go this far. Now we're stopping at a different note, and we hear a different note in the melody. Keep going, keep going. This time. First line. When I say I'm just a blue, I need a D minor chord with an A note in the melody. Because that's what the melody is. So I strum all four. No problem. I'm lucky. That's lucky. I get the I get an easy one to start with. But then when it says wayfaring strange. Now I have an F note in the melody, but I need a D minor chord, so I only roll three notes, and then on the note stranger, now I only roll two strings, I'll play once, and then you play, listen. 
Listen. Listen one time. Try this. I'm just a wayfaring. Okay, see if you can change that melody note in the chord. One, two, three. I'm just a wayfaring. Very good. Okay. Now when we go to a G minor chord. I traveling through We only roll We roll to the melody note but only to there we don't play the last string Now when you do that it's okay for the thumb to rest on that string That's okay In fact it's good okay. You don't have to jump over that string just fall onto the string that you don't play. Okay. So here's what I want. To, uh, here's what I want to hear. I want to hear. I'm just a poor wayfaring. <laughs> Now, 
Can you do one and then the other? Can you put them together so that you play? Okay, play the whole thing. You ready? We can do it. <laughs> can you give us a little bow? That might be nice too. Show uh, bow action. Okay. One, two, go. Spaces. What do we do? Um, strum play the chord. Okay, we could strum. We could strum the chord like this. Is that right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, but this is better. Take a picture of that? Uh, it's too late now. <laughs> um, that's the new way of taking notes, right? Take a picture. So important. It's so important that we have the dynamic. Okay? Because the melody is not this. I'm just a not the melody. Right? The, the melody is just and then it's supposed to ring. So the, the background must be very quiet. Otherwise it will distract from, from the melody. So it must be I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger a traveling through this world of woe be like this. Well, this is forte, and this is piano. And then we get a sense of three dimensions. It's it becomes foreground and background. Okay. So let's try it together. Okay. One, two, three. I'm just a starting to become magic, where it sounds like two or maybe even three different people playing. It's as if there's one person here going, and there's another person, a second person, third person over here going there's 
there's three different parts, right? And you have to imagine that when you play. You know what I mean? Now we have these different layers that happen at the same time. Then we have some magic. It sounds like real music. Mm. Yeah.